family. Greetings, hola. Yeah, I have been watching this Sean Davy way because this was a, a story that I wanted to talk about last week. But I don't think I did. If I did, it was very brief. It's about this that genome couple that was fighting in the car. Bitch, Sean Davy had me cracking up. Listen, I was in here hollering. How y'all doing? Um, but they're really not. So every time it's getting ready to go off. So shout out to Sean David Way because child, I wanted to talk about this story. Um, on um, let's have a conversation, but I don't know if I did or if I didn't. I can't quite even fucking remember, but. When I seen that he had the title Howard Stern and then the couple fighting in the car, I turned it on. I've been watching this shit. This has probably been two, two hours I've been watching this, Sean David. Wait, he listen. This is all he has talked about, and he has been replaying this shit over and over again for fucking uh, two hours, yo. I've been here cracking the fuck up because I wanted to talk about it. So I was so happy that he did because... In true genome form, this genome woman was putting her motherfucking hands and he brought it. He Sean took it all the way back to when they was in front of the police. See, I never knew that they was even in front of the fucking police. All I knew was, honey, on Twitter, I seen her, him yoke this lady the fuck up. So apparently she is one of the writers for uh, used to be one of the writers for the Howard Stern show. And so um, she kind of made some racist remarks toward the little Mexican chick that he was fucking with. And when I tell you, she kept punching his ass and then she'll flinch at him. Then she popped him in his motherfucking face real fucking hard to where he he's like, bitch, you, I think you broke my nose or whatever. And so she's like, no, you're fine. And so she's really pissed because he's been giving this other girl money. And he then gave her over $2 million, right? But he just been sending this other girl money. So she don't really know how much money he been sending the other chick. But the other chick is 20 years old. And he says she's half her age. She's a 50-year-old woman. When she, when he say that, she grabbed him by his motherfucking ear again. This is after she did hit him in his motherfucking nose. He already told her, like, cunt. He called her a cunt. Cunt, if you put your motherfucking hands on me again, bitch, I'm going to deck you. I'm going to deck you. You hear me, bitch? That's what he said. He said, you hear me, bitch? Bitch, hey, cunt, if you put your motherfucking hands on me again, I'm going to deck you. You hear me, bitch? Hey, Sarah, hang up the phone, Sarah. She's put your number out here. Oh, my God. Hey, Adam Poo Poo. That bitch did not believe that grits was motherfucking groceries, bitch. Do you hear me? She reached over and she was putting her hands like she was going to hit him. Then she grabbed him by his ear and twisted it. Now, Sean Davy Way, he pointed out something that I had not noticed the first six times I watched. <laughs> the first six times I motherfucking watched the video, bitch, I had not noticed that she hit her own motherfucking head. First of all, I've just been burning my little candle by Michonne. I think this is Michonne's candle, child. I do believe it is. Yeah, it is. Black and Blanco. This motherfucker smells so good. I keep burning and putting it out. But it smells good. But listen, she didn't believe Fat Me was greasy. You understand me, Erica? He, he grabbed her hand and twisted it off of his ear. In that moment, she got scared and banged her own head on the motherfucking steering wheel, which is what I did not notice. Sean, he didn't watch this motherfucking video a million times, bitch, so he's seen it. So he, she had bopped her own goddamn head on this steering wheel. Then he grabbed her by the motherfucking hair up here. And I was like, when I first watched it, I was like, oh, shit, he going to kill this bitch in the motherfucking car. He going into genome, true genome form. We about to witness a motherfucking murder on Twitter, bitch. He was like yoking the fuck out this bitch here. He said, get the fuck out the car. She kept saying, I'm sorry, I'll quit. I'll quit. No, you won't. He said, oh, you're sorry, huh? No, bitch. You're not sorry because he told you. Don't put, he said, bitch. You put your hands on me again, bitch. I'm going to deck you. You understand me, bitch? He said, you hear me, bitch? She didn't say nothing. 
You know what she did when he said it? The bitch started dancing. She threw a white girl arm up and started dancing. And then she turned around and she yanked him and he, it was Katie Barr the door. It was Katie Barr the motherfucking door. And the best part of it is the bitch got arrested. They arrested her motherfucking ass. So I guess that she, look at her, look at her. Oh, look at her. Wait a minute. Wait, I'm going to show it to you. Wait a minute. Okay. I got to turn my computer real fast. I hope y'all going to be able to see it. Move my little coffee child. Move my candles. Okay. I want y'all to see this shit. This bitch is absolutely the fucking thing. She did too. All right. Watch her. She going to throw her little yeah. genome arm up. She already hit him in his nose at this point. fucking driving beach she is driving they just left couples therapy in couples therapy she goes through his phone and finds the messages that he been texting sarah sarah is a 20 year old latino she keeps saying yeah he said you're a dumb mexican but every time she bring it up she say that yeah because she's a mexican imagine your man fucking a mexican bitch half your age like mm. Mm. So I've been watching this with Sean for like two hours, child, because this is funny to me as fuck. And she thought it was all great. See, before she started dancing, she had already hit him in his motherfucking nose. She hit him hard too, like bye out. That motherfucker, he had a hat and glasses on at first until she hit him in his motherfucking face. And then the hat came off and the glasses came off and he was sitting there like, I think you broke my fucking nose. Like, she said, no, you're okay. You're fine. You know who wasn't fine? That bitch. He was trying to pull that bitch out by her motherfucking hair, honey. I said, well, I guess she learned to put her motherfucking hands back in her pockets then. Bitch, the money he didn't gave you $2 million, bitch. Your hand should have been tucked well away from his motherfucking body, bitch. She don't give a fuck about him. She don't want him to give no money to nobody the fuck else. You understand me? She don't want nobody else to get no motherfucking money. From what's his name? Boram. Now, why is that important? This is one of the things I wanted to come on and talk about tonight. <laughs> My nose is running. I just got the shower, y'all. Greetings, James. Greetings, y'all. Rouse the bows. Hey, cuz. Hey, Erica. Love Taurus, Tamitra, Latasha, peacefully. Hey, my mods. What's up, Chaz? Fucked around and found out. You understand? She found out, Evan. You hear me? Bitch, for $2 million, nigga, don't come in the house. <laughs> is that helping you to get some more money, nigga? Get the fuck back out there and get that money, my guy. $2 million, you can't even live with me, bitch. You need to be in your own house so you can have all of the extra pussy you would like. Don't come over here. No. 
no. I'm so content with our love. <laughs> oh, child. His name is Bo Ram. B O R A M. Bo Ram. Why is that important? Because the day that this came out is the day that the little Asian girl that's 30 years old died. Now, it's either the exact same day or they're like one day apart, 24 hours or whatever. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, girl, 24 hours apart, right? And so her name was Park Boram. B-O-R-A-M. Same fucking name. What's up, Hadari? Where you been at? So I'm like, that's that's deep. That's odd. Like, we have to really start to look at these things and pay attention to when shit line up just like that. Because that's what the fuck happened. It lined up just like that. This came out with this couple. His name is Boram. It's something else. Bo something Boram. And her name was Park, P-A-R-K, Park Boram. And she passed away 30 years old, Asian singer. I'm still not sure how she passed, but she was in the three with um, uh, OJ and um, DJC. Those three all died together, those three. Now... Um, Roberto Cavalli passed away as well as, um, was it those three that was in the same? Well, I will say this. It was Roberto Cavalli and no, DJ, C, no, the dungeon dude, the other one, right? Let me look because it's, it's been a lot of them and there's going to be one more is the reason why I'm saying it. Let me see, because it's getting ready to be one more. Let me get to it, child. It's hot in here. And you know how you be hot because you just got out the shower and shit? We're going to talk about a few things. So. Yeah, Roberto Cavalli and Rico Wade uh, passed away. Those are the two. I feel like there's going to be someone that's like a, um, I really want to call it and say they're like a, a, they have some ties to the music industry, but I feel like they're like a record label owner or something like that. But I do feel like it's going to be one more, but I do feel like it's a connection to like, um, like a record label. Okay. Now, before that, it was O.J. Simpson, D.J. C., and um, Park Borum. So those were those three, right? Yeah, he was one of D, uh, uh, Big Daddy Kane's old DJs. Yes, D.J. C. was, yes. And I didn't really know him like that at all. I had not ever even heard of him until then, I used to love Big Daddy Kane, child. When I was a little girl, child, he was so cute to me. And was. But those are the things that I just noticed that those two, when that came out, when this video came out the other day, um, that happened, right? So I did a video last night because the reason why I did the video, because I had went and took a shower and when I came back out, I was just, I did the live. Then I went and got in the shower and I came back out. Um, and when I got out the shower, when I got in the shower, I kept seeing this scene over and over again in my head of Diddy and Justin and G going into the bathroom. But I kept feeling like it was not Diddy that shot him. And I kept hearing him say, no son of mine, you not my blood. That's not my blood, like my blood, to, you know, and I felt like they kind of cornered this boy in his bathroom. 
And it was like a, a, a forced kind of thing. And so I'm like, damn, that's really fucked up, child. He's trying to get that bitch out that car, honey. He is not playing no games. That bitch, he's killing me. No, bitch, he wasn't. But um, hey, Summer Rain. And so I, I really feel like this is that kind of situation because like Justin and Christian comes from two great women. You know what I'm saying? And the situation is very unfortunate because I feel like, like I said before, these women do whatever the fuck he want them to do based on, you know what I'm saying? He says, so now I got to send you the blind item I just watched. I'm trying to go to bed and you talking this. Oh, well, send it to me. Um, And so I'm like, Damn, I keep seeing it and I feel like, what do you do when somebody has something over you or on you? And like, I'm sure they have a love for their father. I'm sure they do. But at the same time, when you have done certain things and you you already know you, you have these things over you, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you going to do? You just kind of further engage because at some point you believe this shit y'all are untouchable. At some point you believe that. And that's what rap a lot records too. that whole family dynamic. They really believe that they're untouchable. And when you feel like you're untouchable because you can pay for police, you can pay for politicians and judges, and you have all of that shit under your belt, you are really capable of doing whatever the fuck you want to do. And you believe that you're untouchable. However, I do understand and I know that they work magic. They play in roots. You know what I'm saying? They have psychics on their staff. Um, I was just thinking earlier when I had took one of my um, artists to meet um, the record executives when we was in Cincinnati. We met them out at this way far out in Mason at this um, little house. And some of y'all know this story, some of you don't. So I'm not going to get all the way into the story. However, um, there was two genomes that were there with everybody else. The genomes refused to stay in a room with me. If I came in a room, those two genomes left out. It was a female and a male. Uh, if there was a meeting, they were in there talking. They would be in there. Once I came in the room, they was out. Excuse me. When I was inside the house, they sat outside the house. So the one time she stayed in the room that I was able to speak to her, I said to her, I said, what is your name? And she was like, I'm Alicia. And I was like, well, what do you do? And she was like, I wear many hats. No, bitch, tell the truth. You're a witch. And when I was like thinking about it earlier, the spirit started to talk to me and I understood they wanted my artist to stay out there. They was like, we'll just leave him out here, you know, and we'll have CJ out here with him. And I'm like, no, we're getting ready to drive an hour back to Cincinnati in a hotel. Well, he could just stay out here. And it's like, no, he's not. We're going to take him with us. I realized they were going to try to get him because they were going to double back. I don't know if they was going to put it in something that he drank or that he ate, because this was going to be one of those, I'm going to catch you on camera kind of moments. You're going to play ball. It was getting ready to be one of those. I totally get and understand how the fuck they work and how they operate. They was going to try to get my artist. Everything in me said not to leave him out there. And I was like, I'm not leaving him out there. I, I paid for him a hotel room. And the next day, I went and picked him up and put him back on a plane and sent him back home. No, no. And I know they traveled. They came. We're talking about big executives. They came all the way to Mason, Ohio to meet us for this. That's the one that the Geno man, I said, he put his hand on the, on the speaker and was listening to his music. He put his hand on it. And like, he was like praying over the music or whatever. It was so fucking weird. She did the same thing. I'm like, these are two root workers out this motherfucker. And no lie. If I could find a video and pull it up, it was orbs. 
that was in there like this the whole time Trace Key is performing, like there's orbs in the videos like this. And I was just like, I was so full of it and so excited. I was like in tears and um, K.O. Robertson turned around. He looked at me and he was like, you know, looking at me because I'm crying and shit. And I'm like, I can't help myself, you know. And I'm like, this shit was just, it was, it was really weird. But I say that to say, I see the games that they play because I believe they were going to try to give him something and get him to do something sexual. What a guy and was going to try to catch him on camera. And now you have something to hang over him. These people are, are very vindictive in the shit that they do. That is not a game. That is not a game. The shit was very scary and very telling. And I like, mm, Mm -hmm. All I know is, nope. If the if you're in the industry and these motherfuckers is telling you to, you know, just stay out here, spend a night here, come over here. Uh, uh, no. Hold on, I will put my email up for you. Like, uh, absolutely the fuck not. I just want y'all to know my spirit is so motherfucking high right now. My spirit is super high. I have a soul riding me. Um, and I don't know because they kept saying something about a walk of crime and I'm like, I don't have nobody for a walk of crime. I don't even know who I'm going to do. And so it's just so much on me in, in, in energy riding me right now. But, um, the other thing I was going to say was Pam sent me a movie. Say, have you ever seen Dracula untold last night after I did the live? And I'm like, um, no, she sent it today. And I said, no, I, I haven't. I don't think, but I'm going to watch it. So when I pull it up, I say to her, I said, oh yeah, I've seen this, but I can't, you know how you watch something, but you can't quite remember that shit. So I, uh, I pull it up and I, I watch it and I realize as soon as I get to the end of it, because he, he ends up coming back and he's living a regular life for hundreds and hundreds of years. And so is the original vampire who turned him and their businessman. He's a businessman, but you can't even tell the difference. You would not know. And that, so to me, it was just so fucking validating, bro. Like it was super validating. I need to listen for a moment because there's a soul riding me and it may be her, but I just need to understand what in the fuck. Let me burn some of this sage, child, because that shit, it is riding my back. Because I've been sitting at the computer, when I tell y'all, for about eight hours, and I only typed like four lines out of eight hours. I've been getting up, moving about and shit, too, but I keep coming back in the house or sitting back down, getting back in front of the computer. And um, I cannot, I'm going to get past it, though, but I have not, I could not get past that I accidentally deleted 40 minutes worth of work. That blew me. That blew the fuck out of me, bitch. So I have been sitting at my goddamn computer for eight hours today. But I'm about to see what why. Vampires are absolutely real. And it may not be in the sense of what you're thinking or how you see it, but absolutely. I was explaining that last night, Hadari, about communion. That's why you take communion. Because that's really what it is. But they have tricked you into knowing something else. And I'm going to tell everybody because it's over 700 people on here. And I hope that y'all hit the fucking like button when you came in this motherfucker. Um, I'm never going to make an excuse. I'm never going to come and tell you no lies. I'm never going to argue with you about what I feel, what I think, what the soul and the spirit brings to me. If you ever put in there about your Jesus and all that shit, I'm simply going to delete and block you because I don't care. You're not going to bring that oppressive energy over here to us because you don't know that it's oppressive. That's why people are like, oh, I'm going to pray for you. Please don't, don't ever, don't ever bring me into that fucking energy ever. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. I don't need it. Don't want it. You keep that oppressive shit over there with you. Okay. Just so you know that, because I'm telling you now, I'm going to, I'm not going to argue with you. I am just going to simply delete you and block you. That's it. 
That's it. So yeah, I've already done um I've done Nicole and OJ, and they're now trying to spin the narrative. I just watched the video like day before yesterday of them saying that um OJ was in cahoots with the mob, and it's actually the mob that killed Nicole Simpson, the guy, somebody he saw the paperwork of a confession from the guy named Charlie, and Charlie is the one. Listen, I almost started questioning myself. And, you know, the soul and the spirit said, we gave you the information. We gave you the information. And I said, okay, well, I have to, um, I have to say it for what it is. So they are they, they are really bringing up Lucian Grange and that's who they're highlighting right now for me Lucian Grange because um whether we know it or not that person is being held in a trial by their trial excuse me not trial of the land their trial and what they do and how they operate um Because I feel like there are certain things that have been um, documented or found. Now, the other day when the mother came through and she was saying, um, hey, who did you bring to Lucian Grange was that shot? And I'm like, shot Moss, which is a bow wow. And if you don't understand this part and everything that I say, as you see scrolling at the bottom of your screen is alleged. OK, and please, if you feel like donating, please do send a donation because the bitch could use it. Gratitude. Um, but. We have failed to realize that some of these these people are pass arounds. Right. Um, and then you have the whole little beef with JT and. um I was about to call that girl Superhead. Child, that is Carisha, Young Miami. Why was I about to call her Superhead? Oh. She must be feeding in that same energy. Oh, let's get into some spirit work. Mm. Mm. So they're not talking about something. They're not talking about what, Spirit? They're not talking about somebody had a suicide attempt. I almost feel like we're talking about Bow Wow. But there is some sort of suicide attempt that they are not speaking of. Um, listen, a lot of these, even the, the people that are not at fault, don't want some of this shit to come out. Why? Because some of these youngins are caught on video. Let's listen. I swear we have acknowledged Abercrombie and Finch, but it's something about the uh, owners of Abercrombie and Finch. But I feel like the accusations against that company itself it's almost like I want to tie several companies together, like Abercrombie and Finch and the Banana Republic. Like, who's still wearing that shit? I don't know. But I feel like I want to tie all of these people together for some reason, because I, I keep hearing shit about like racism and um, funding. A lot of CEOs are getting ready to step down from heads of companies, music industries. They're like CEOs are getting ready to start stepping down from several different places. And it's I don't even think they're going to say why they're stepping down, but 
they're going to be stepping down because a lot of these people are tied in to this shit. A lot of people have so much, so much to stake here for some of this shit not happening or coming out. Um, these videos, I don't think we quite understand. And I keep saying that over and over again. But I feel like it's a lot of racism when it comes to them. And every everything I said again is alleged. Um, but it's like, I want to connect these clothing lines. Um, but as much as I want to connect them to the racism, I also want to connect them to like sweatshops and young children. I feel like it's a duo of what's happening with that like the sweatshops with the young children, but these children, they look like Guatemalan children or something. Um, but I also feel like even inside of that, they're like child trafficking all inside of it too. They keep talking about some sort of suicide. I don't know if that's getting ready to happen. And we may be looking at a, a couple like CEOs or somebody. I almost feel like somebody is going to jump off of something or like a building or a bridge. Um, I feel like we may be looking at like May, possibly like towards the end of April or May um, for some of this. Now, I have mentioned before about the transgender woman that's going to um, come about. And I seen that, like, something about Trey Songs today. I seen that he settled out for $25 million or something, um, some kind of uh, sexual assault uh, charge that he had. But I still feel like there's something about um, a transgender woman coming out. In speaking that I feel like may be also a pass around um, in the industry. Um, I don't feel like it's just one. I feel like it's actually three of them, but one feels like she's coming back from back in the day. And I'm wondering if that's the one that they kept saying was in Biggie's video. I'm wondering if it's connected to her or if it's three other ones, because I feel like it's three of them. Um, one feels like she is of a different like nationality or um, culture or something like that. Um, something is getting ready to be highlighted about Offset and Cardi B as well. This, they're getting ready to be right back in the news again too. But um, I want to get back to that because there's getting ready to be some shit brought out that people are not aware of. And for everybody that has been supporting him, like they trying to take a, a black man down. Like I want y'all to watch those people who you see this condoning this behavior because it is not, it is not, ain't no way nobody doesn't understand or see that these charges are real fucking charges um, or accusations against this man, okay? So I want you to watch those people because those people, them people can't be trusted. I don't know what that name is. It's a D name. It's not Diddy, but it's, I don't know. I keep hearing Dylan. I don't know who the fuck a Dylan would be, but I know it's a D name. But what they keep saying is that name. And then I keep seeing somebody being filmed sucking somebody's dick. Um, and these are two two guys. Um, but this is going to, this is on camera. They, this is a film. Um I wonder if that is Odell. That might be Odell. I ain't talking about that Justin Bieber shit in the club. I'm not talking about that. This person look like they are sat back on the motherfucking couch 
Greetings, Naya. Greetings, Naya. How are you? Let me listen. Mm. Naya says, there's so many of them watching me right now, and they're trying to figure out how to shut my pages down. Do your best. Mother Dina said, please do it. Go ahead. Sweep through is what she said. I don't give a fuck. Um, NATO. NATO. What's NATO? Nardo. Nardo. NATO Nardo. Okay, go ahead. So she's saying that we have, I have brought up like a trans woman, but I have not looked at the trans man, like someone that went from female to male. And they keep showing me like somebody that's either a trans man or super, like a super stud was like sexually assaulted. Um, and have been quiet about this. And I really want to just say, I want that person to come out and speak. I want that person to come out and speak. But the person I keep seeing, like he is laid back on the couch, like sat up, but laid back, um, very mac immaculate, like no hair. Um, and there is a guy that's like sucking his dick. And this is a young guy. I know the face of this person, but I'm definitely not going to call the name. Um, but he had been in the news for groping somebody in public. Right. They also, okay, so some of that with the trans woman, um, I almost feel like she was paid because what they keep talking about is the Eddie Murphy and the Teddy Pendergrass. You know, Teddy Pendergrass was in a car accident with the trans woman in the car. Eddie Murphy was stopped by the police with the trans woman in the car. I feel like it was another situation like that, but I feel like it was like swept under the rug or it was covered up or something like that. So they can have this over this person because somebody was in the car. I feel like this person would be connected to Sean Combs. Uh, honestly, uh, allegedly, allegedly, but I feel like they will be connected to him. Um, and like, I don't know if somebody was pulled over and they had a female in the car or what this is. Um, But the female was like a trans woman, allegedly. They also tell me that David Banner has seen a lot of things. And I don't know in which way he is going to speak. But they keep saying David Banner has seen a lot of things. Something about, I don't know if he's waiting his turn to speak on something. Allegedly. I 
I hear you, girl. She's saying there's like no shortage of people that could actually come out and speak because she's even talking about like um, the Yin Yang twins, like how their career was killed. A couple people from like the American Idol show. Like these are not just threats that they're making to these people. Like they're actually physically um, approaching these people in the craziest fucked up weird ways and affecting their families and shit like that, that and making these people like disappear, like clearing their bank accounts out, like, taking money out of their account where like they can't even prove it. Um, drugging these people up, giving them false addictions and shit. But you know what I'm saying? Like, putting people in their circle, making them ill like putting things in there and like like actually lacing their shit with shit and making these people sick. And therefore, it's like, oh, you have stomach cancer. They're, they're paying doctors and physicians like to go along with this. This is extensive. Like this shit should come out. I want it to come out. It needs to come out. But if it comes out, who you got left? Because Diddy is not the only one that was recording shit. There are other people that have recordings of different things because this is how they do to, to keep a handle on. I just heard some shit the other day, yesterday, about Kim Kardashian and the shit she was doing. But she's not the only one either. We're talking about there are other people that have documented certain things but they just felt like they could not come out and say something. Whoever that stud or lesbian or the trans man is, like she was really fucked up. She may have also like mentally clicked out for a minute um, because like whatever this is, this is a gang, something happened gang wise where she was taken advantage of or, um, and sexually assaulted. Um, like this is a gang, at least four or five men assaulted this woman. But I feel like she's like a hard stud. So it's like she like ate that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like she took that shit and didn't want to say anything like, but I feel like mentally it made her fucked up for a minute. I don't know if she has a son or if she was dating someone that has a son. Someone has a child that she was dealing with or is dealing with, but she ate that shit. Like she didn't want to, like she was trying to like, I'm cool. Like, you know, like it's it's all right, like you know what I'm saying. Like it's almost like they try to make it seem like they was initiating her, or you know what I'm saying. And and she's like, no, it's cool, it's it's cool. Like no, I, I'm all right, you know. But I feel like really she was fucked up. I really feel like she has contemplated suicide. I feel like she really wanted to do something to one of them. Um, And I feel like she's super was contemplating, excuse me, her career, um, like trying to turn to the Christian or, you know, whatever. But it just feels like she just kind of have been going through it since this happened.
Now, they also keep showing me another female. She's a, a artist, but her music has not been like um, super high on a platform or anything like that. I do believe now she's on like a love and hip hop type of show, but like they're keep talking about the casting couch with her um, and how they're trying to formulate how they can use her. Her name is something Richie, something Richie. It is light skin chick. They're like trying to sign her to someone big, um, assign her and sign her. Um, I feel like she's going to be wearing somebody's chain or something, but they're trying to get her and seeing how they can use her um, and molding her. They keep highlighting her and then they highlight Megan the Stallion as if they're trying to like formulate her to be in the same category as Megan, right? Um, like switching her off and, and making her the next big thing. But it's like the casting couch. Like, I don't know if she has been like, only person I ever really have known her to be linked to, and it was supposed to be friends, was like Kevin Gates or something. But I feel like stretching past that, like it's been other people like in her ear um, and trying to get her to do something else because they keep saying signing a contract um, and trying to like make her be this big thing. It really feels like she almost doesn't have a choice <clears throat> in the matter of what they're wanting her to do and how they're wanting her to 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 come in and and to take over because it's too many it's too much wait a minute I don't know why they're highlighting Akbar. Who gives a fuck about Akbar? But they're highlighting Akbar too. So I don't know why they're highlighting Akbar, but they're highlighting her um, as they're talking about this girl. I feel like they're just trying to find a place for her, like where they're going to place her at. The Richie girl. I feel like they have tested her over the last like three years to see how far she will go and what she will do. Um, and I feel like, and how they're going to brand her like under the sex kitten type shit. Um, I feel like, like, I don't know if it's something about a relationship or somebody she's dealing with this kind of stopping her from actually being in the sex kitten arena the way that they want with the, you know what I'm saying? Like, but if they're not careful, if he's not going to push her to play ball, then they're either going to wipe her whole career out or they're going to wipe him out and then bring her on a board. But I honestly feel like she almost doesn't have a choice here. I feel like what they're doing is lining up new people because like they're going to take out the city girls and you know what I'm saying? Like Megan is, is quiet, but she's also going into a different type of arena. Um, like it's not that she's going to stop doing music, but I don't feel like you're going to hear as much music from Megan because I feel like Megan is trying to do like a production company or, um, you know, and then like um, her own line of something. I don't know if that's a fashion line. Like I feel like she's um, shoes or something like Megan is already moving herself into a different arena. Now they must bring in the new um Kitty cats, if you will. I 
don't know who that is. Sean Henderson, Sean Anderson, Henderson, Anderson. I don't know if that's Henderson or Anderson. Something about basketball or something. Basketball, some kind of sports player. I feel like they're trying to put some distractions in there. You know what I'm saying? Um, Tamika, Tamika. What the fuck? Why is he here? Greetings. I don't understand. Pause. Wait. Um, I have the football player Chris Henry. Chris Henry. He's talking about like a contract right before he passed the contract, talking about his wife. Um but why would you be here? What what is it? Why are you here? So they're trying to put some sort of husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, sports player against each other. Um and he's talking about that aspect. Um, it's almost like he feels like his wife got away with what happened to him. Um, what do you mean we don't get it? We don't understand. Well, what is it that we don't get it? We don't understand. Um, some of the sports players have been with their women for years. Um, and it's almost like he's saying like it's almost an unspoken rule that they must be of a lighter complexion. Um, and for those who are dating women that are like in the darker complexion, like, once you start to make it, like, it's almost like they're being teased because, like, you, you're supposed to have a woman of a lighter complexion. Um, doesn't always have to be of a different nationality, but she needs to be of a lighter complexion. It's almost something that they push. You know what I'm saying? Um, and for some of the ones that are with dark, darker complected women, they push them into dating, even if they're side chicks, lighter complected women, and to bring them to some of these events um, and stuff like they're not supposed to bring the dark ones with them. He says, don't think because they're sports players, they're not selling their souls, quote unquote, because they do. Um, they do it all the time. And what he keeps showing me is them, you know, the fight that took place in the elevator with the dude and the girl and like all of these different things. It's weird how it's always caught on camera is what he's saying. Um, he keeps saying, y'all don't understand. They put these women up to some of this. You don't understand. Even if they're, 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 they're significant others and they've been with them for a long time. Like he keeps saying, you don't understand. They put them up to it. They like make them do certain things. The women. A lot of the women, he said, are pass-arounds. 
Um, even if they're in relationships, he said it's not as much um, like being faithful as you would think, you know, fidelity. It's a lot of infidelity. Um, and it's almost like a known thing. And it, he's talking about boxers. Like he's saying athletes all around. He keeps saying ribbon cutters, ribbon holders, almost like he's also talking about those who do like in the Olympics, like this is a, a known thing. Like that is really, really, really crazy. Um, because he's talking about they offer these women cars and like clothing lines and businesses. Um, and they make sure that they know that you're like dealing with other women. They'll make you bring somebody else, but then they'll have somebody take pictures and send them to her. So now they can play both sides. He feels like that's what happened to him. Like, He's making me feel like there is constant arguing about like infidelity. He's asking, he wants to know if his wife is genuinely apologetic because I feel like she said she didn't mean to, it was an accident, but he, the way he keeps showing it to me, it's almost like she was rationalizing it to herself. Like I didn't do it. I didn't do it. You know, I, I didn't push him off. Like I didn't do it. Um, that's so strange that he's even here. That's crazy. Um, He's saying that Russell Wilson also knows because he said, as crazy as it sounds like for them, if Sierra wasn't who she was, she would be too dark. He said, but there's a whole other side to all of that too. Keep saying something about them are allegedly swingers. The car party, key party, car party, swingers. Something about them being alleged swingers. And he keeps highlighting Dwayne Wade. Mm. He keeps saying he's got down a time or two. He ain't just on one bus. He played both. He ride on both buses. Girl, let me sip my goddamn coffee. And again, all, all stuff is alleged. It say it right there. It's alleged. He say he ride both buses. I don't know who Sean Henderson or Sean Anderson is. Henderson, Anderson. I don't know if it's a K attached to that or a C or a K name also attached to that. I'm going to say that though because I keep highlighting it. He's also saying that a lot of these sports people's um, have boyfriends. Um, 
Like there's a sports person who has a boyfriend that's in the music industry. And you probably see them together a lot and you just think that they best friends or they good buddies, but they're not just that. We're talking to Naya Rivera and Chris Henry. Keep saying, check the tape. What tape? It's going to be some tapes, ain't it? It's going to be some tapes, ain't it? The major one is of what I was talking about. He's saying the major tape, the major tape, one of the major tapes that they don't want to come out. It's like two or three of them. But it's of the dick parties that we was talking about with a whole bunch of these guys and rappers and boxers and, and sports people in the, the, the dick parties. It's in a, a big-ass room. He's talking about that has been, like, found or discovered. Um, they have that. Somebody has that. Girl, who who wrote a book and is unalived? Some of them basketball players, um, and a, a few of the football players, but right now he's highlighting the basketball players and he's like highlighting like three of them, four of them. Like two, two, but four, two, but four, but was like due to doodling um, the agents or the, the owners of the sports team. Um, And was getting like also getting cars. They get gifts. Oh shit, they're getting gifts. Like they're 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 bitched out. Like they're controlling their bank accounts. And some of the women are their beards. They're not really their wives and girlfriends. Oh. And then some of them are doing with other people, but they have to keep it on the low. So some of them is, and he keeps showing me somebody specific, like his wife is dealing with someone else because she already knows this is a marriage of convenience um, because she knows that he's fucking with somebody else. We're talking about a major basketball player. She knows, and she has fucked with a few niggas in the industry. Um, and if you on the outside looking in, you'd be like, that bitch ain't shit, that bitch is a cheater. But when in reality, you can call it swinging if you must, but really, they know um, they're there for convenience and they're getting paid. While he has his men, she's been like, but, you know, that's a price she's paying because now she's looking like she's a hoe in the industry. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, STDs are running rapid for sure. You said it, I didn't, Aubrey. Some of the women are fucking women. Some of the women are fucking women. Some of the women got girlfriends. It's a few of them. And if you're not necessarily, you know what I'm saying? doing what everybody else is doing, like you might be keep getting moved around or traded teams or, 
you know, like caught in fucked up situations, on the bench a lot, not playing, even if you was a good player, like you might be getting traded around. Because some of them, some of them don't feel like they're, they're gay because they're actually a top so they're not getting fucked, but they're fucking them for whatever comes with it. So they're not actually feeling like they're 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 gay. They're feeling like they're tops because they're just performing the act so they can get paid or you know keep their 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 shit, you know, for what it is. They keep they keep trying to be specific on something, and I want to understand. Um They said that Ocho Cinco and Cam Newton wouldn't go. They wouldn't play the, the gay game. They wouldn't do that. Um, and so they kept finding themselves in weird, fucked up situations. That's all right with me. Now, I'm just going to say, because I'm going to say this, I'm not going to call him by his real name. I'm just going to call him what they're calling him. Um, this is what they keep saying. They keep saying, don't let Draco, don't let Draco fool you. He be on live talking a lot of shit, but he fuck a lot of boys. Allegedly, allegedly, I keep seeing him spit on his dick, fucking the dude. And they say he fucks a lot of them. Don't let him play that game with you. And that's a lot of times where he's getting his money. Allegedly. I don't know why they chose today to come and spill some tea, but baby, I feel like he also had to pay somebody off, um, and it was a very quiet thing, but he had to, sometimes he'd be arguing with his boyfriends, get the fuck out of here, bitch, get the fuck out of here, bitch, say, shut the fuck up. Bitch, allegedly him and blew up the face, bitch. Allegedly him blew up the face, bitch. Somebody was blowing on the face, bitch. Alleged the fuck Lee. Alleged the fuck Lee, bitch. Stop playing in people's faces, child. Ooh. Oh, oh, somebody ring the alarm. I've been down for too long. I'd be damned if I see another nigga on your arm. <laughs> oh, Christian. Oh, Christian, why you didn't tell him who he was in his phone? Why you didn't say who was in his phone, Christian? Oh, that was a lover's quarrel, bitch. Oh. Allegedly, allegedly. Oh, bitch. Mmm. 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 I don't even want to go further, bitch, because that was that that bitch. 
That's how you making your money. He had to pay somebody off because I feel like he ripped somebody's asshole or something. One of them did, but I feel like we're talking about the Drake, um, Draco. But um, allegedly, there was something about having to pay somebody off too about um, a hospital bill or some shit like that. Uh huh. Mm. 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 I'm gone. Mm -mm, I'm gone. I'm off of her. Uh, you say my ex never used to play for the Bengals, and I found out a lot of stuff about them, and I couldn't believe it. Girl, we ain't even get into Corey, because Corey tried to fuck my cousin, and she was 12, and he was every bit of getting ready to be off the Bengals. You understand me? Mm, girl. Mm. That's it for me. Ah, that's a lie. Because you around here acting real motherfucking tough and you fucking these old genomes for money and all kind of shit, but you keep putting that shit up to your ear? Nigga, is you kidding? Is you kidding? Talking about get your money up? Don't nobody want money like you getting that kind of money, nigga? Your shit ain't even selling the way that you making it seem like. Nigga, they is tired of investing in you. Ooh, child, this is some tea time, honey. Mmm. 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 I need to just warm up my coffee, honey, because that... Mm. That goes in the book. <laughs> no wonder you don't like bitches. That's why you always talking crazy and putting your hands on women, nigga. Ooh. That's a whole lover's court, girl. Shut the fuck. That it made my damn head hurt. Ooh. I don't know if that's Brandon, Brandon, something St. James, St. James. Brandon, Ivan, something St. James. One of these um, sports players' wife is actually a, a trans woman. Yeah, one of their wives is actually a trans woman, and then kind of holding it as a secret. That's interesting. I'm about to fucking go, bitch, because make sure y'all hit the like button, bitch. Make sure y'all hit a donation. Tap a bitch collection plate, okay? Because period. Because period. Um, but look, Cam is on the TV over there talking to uh oh uh Shay Shay. That Cam didn't want to go for it. Cam and Ocho didn't want to go for it. I know why they highlighting the Brandon, 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 Brian, Brian, Brandon, and then St. James, something about St. James. Um, we ain't even got to talk about Shay Shay. We already know that team. Clocked it already.
So they're telling me that there's an industry witch that has been caught up in some of this. Um, and I asked them who, um, and I honestly feel like they're talking about because she's also she's also a, a runner, recruiter, trafficker as well. But she's playing the role as if she is like just works for the music industry or the, the record label or the recording label studio, whatever. And she's named, I ain't gonna even say her name, but she is named in that little rod. And she even brought out a different, she, she gave a response, black chick. She is a recruiter. She is a recruiter and she's acting like she's just connect, connected to this record label or to this this studio and it's deeper than that they're calling these parties but these are like these are not just parties so even if she took the stand and said bitch you that's crazy that's crazy so she can actually take a lie detector test and say no i wasn't at none of the parties i didn't go to the parties except for yeah she can say that and she probably could pass a lie detector test because technically they're not parties these are I had had a dream where I was at one of these parties and I said that I saw um, um, Coco Jones there. And it was like, you can go in through this pantry door and it was like secret, like secret ways that you can maneuver through this house or under the house. And now I'm understanding what that was because I waited for somebody and he was like a big Samoan dude. He came and he walked me um, through the backyard and it was like, would look like a pool party going on like but honestly these are these are trafficking situations they're not parties so they're trafficking situations and they're guised as a party but they're not all really the fuck parties so when stevie j put out that video and said this is what a real diddy party looks like yes that's what a real diddy party look like because these are not parties these are trafficking situations and you motherfuckers are going down i don't give a fuck how you painted or what you want to do bitch you are going down because listen what they are doing they're not trafficking i don't feel like anybody over the age of 18 and I feel like 18 for them is too, too old. You're right. These are not parties. These are trafficking situations. And remember, I kept saying there's a manifesto and the manifesto says what people like on there, what they're into, you know, like the whole pizza and um, pepperonis and hot dogs and sausage is that it's like a food list of and, and different shit like that. And you'll see their names and what they want next to it. And that's that kind of manifesto. And that's what's happening. Like they're picking up and dropping off. They're tunneling them under. They're bringing them in. When that little boy pulled up and was like, tell him to quit having all them under girl, underage girls over there. And I seen buses and his mama came out and was like, no, this is my house. He just lying. No, he wasn't. But she already knew she didn't want no motherfucking smoke, bitch. They're bringing them in and they're tunneling them. And no, this is that kind of situation, bitch. I'm telling you, because in my dream, when we were in that meeting in his house, in my dream the other day, and I got up, we all got up and we were picking something up. I realized today and I told Ivy, I said, we were picking up guns. He was, he's a, he's a, he's a different, listen, this nigga, Corey grabs a lot of shit from dope houses to trafficking. And you are going to be found out like this is not going to be a small bust and they know it like auctions. Absolutely. This is not a small run of the mill. Oh, this is just Diddy going down. We're trying to take a black man. I'm telling you, when I said it before, before it ever, before the case ever hit the shit, I told y'all he is a big trafficker. I told y'all that. And then what happened? 
Then this shit came out and said, oh, he's his house was raided before him being a trafficker. I fucking told y'all this nigga is one of the heads of this movement of trafficking. Uh, allegedly, but not. Allegedly, but not. Okay. And I'm telling you, everybody has something to lose. We're not just talking about videos. And again, there's over 200 of them. But excuse me, we're talking about documents, papers, um, manifestos, lists. Um, warehouses of, of guns and warehouses of where they keep certain things. Now, this is the key thing. If the police is listening, they're color coded. The colors are the codes. We talked about that a few years ago. The colors are the codes on how they're trafficking them. Like yellow would be like boats and then blue would be by airplanes and then and like chartered buses and, and, and trucks. The colors, if you can't figure it out, the colors are how they're trafficking them as well as um, there's an aspect to that. I'm not going to say too much on that because I know black means the black color means that they are going with like the cartel or some shit. And I don't want to get into that. That's 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 different. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. No. No, I don't want to deal with that. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. They're going to be doing a sweep. It's almost like some sort of sweep or roundup. Um, but they have lists and manifestos. This is like documents. And it may be on like a computer system. Um, but they have like its colors and different things like that and labels of who want who ordered this and like who wanted pizza who wanted hot dogs who wanted a sausage who who um you know um this this group is blue this group is this like this is um he 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 organized a lot of this shit and his mother to go and get her because that's where a lot of this shit is that's why she plays in the quiet part but she has a lot to do with a lot of this. She calls people. She makes a lot of phone calls. And what she has or what they're doing is different phones, but it's like they have also a phone company somewhere. I feel like it's in like New York, but it's a phone company distrib distributor like so they can rotate phones and stuff. Um, I would not be surprised if she owns like a phone company that distrib distributes um, phones and shit. Like, um, yeah. And so they can just get rid of the phones. This is a network. This is an enterprise. You shouldn't have brought, you shouldn't have came to my dream. You shouldn't have brought it to me. You showed me everything that you wanted me to see. And so now I'm going to, I'm going to talk about it because that's what you wanted me to do. Um, but he's in a partnership. And you would think that it would just be with um, Carter, but it isn't. It's him and him, of course, allegedly, but I don't know why I want to highlight T.I. I want to say, at first I thought they were just using all melanite men, but they're not. I'm highlighting T.I. They're showing me T.I. on repeat in that new apartment complex. There's more to that, like I said before, than what that is, too. And one of them are also getting ready to open up. There's something, I almost want to say Texas. It's a connection with Texas opening up another like record 
studio label. It's going to be big. It's a, it's a big one. Um, but I keep wanting to highlight Texas for some reason. But there's a female that's also in this, that's with them. Um, that could be that chick, but there's somebody else that stands out. Um, that could be her over that record. But I feel like she's a small fry. She's small. So they were training you. They were training you, Carisha. They were training you. You you were the whore, as you said, but you wasn't just the whore. See, you were being trained and you because you're a recruiter for this. And like you where there is a video. Mm. There's a video of a girl, the chick was on baddies. Her name is like, um, how my name is T or some shit like that. And she was doing the, like the little red carpet interview with young Miami and JT. And she said, I remember you, we was all up in like Dubai party or something. We was all at Dubai and Carisha was trying to act like she didn't know. Oh, I know where I know you from. Okay. Yeah. Because she is off of the baddies. Mm. Oh, a lot of you bitches are sex workers. Oh, the baddies, Natalie. Wow. Wow. You bitches are sex workers too. Natalie, you're a recruiter, bitch. Oh, wow. Wow. You're a recruiter, bitch. Wow. You're putting some on the show. Some of them you're putting to work. You're a whole fucking madam, bitch. You're a madam. Wow. Wow. You tried to recruit Tommy. See, you was trying to get in. You was trying to. You was trying to get Tommy. That's what this whole beef between you and Tommy is about. But Tommy told you that she don't need you to help her sell no motherfucking pussy. Tommy said she don't play them kind of games, bitch. She can do whatever it is she wanted to do. You tried to use Sky, but Sky wasn't going for the bullshit either. But Sky, she just want she just want her her coin and to be quiet. So Sky is quiet on a whole bunch of shit. Bitch, you're a whole recruiter, bitch. I hope your name is on these manifestos, bitch. I hope they're coming to get you too. You're not, mm -mm. you are a madam, bitch. You're, you're pimping these bitches. They are lying in y'all motherfucking pockets. They told you to think about your daughter. Worry about yourself. Think about your daughter. Like you said, bitch, I don't ever have to work again. Wow. That's interesting. That's kind of how he was pulling them in because, see, Lemmy was fucking a lot of them girls. And y'all ain't getting paid no small amount of money. We're talking about 200000 250000 100000 Y'all getting paid big money, though. Y'all not getting paid no little money. Did you did you send Krishan over to Young Miami? They told you, like, is that what happened there? But Krishan wasn't going and she too loud. See, she was unaware of the whole dynamic of everything that be going on. See, she was she wasn't even knowing for real 
what she needed to be knowing. But when she was seeing it, but see, she was already in love with the nigga. You getting that bread, Natalie. And of course, it's all a legend. It's all a legend. I don't know. I'm just saying, but I ain't saying. Girl, that's crazy. And y'all got these baddies, these baddies online so girls, young girls can see them. So when they approach the young girls and be like, this is how you get that money. This is how you get that money. Little skinny bitch. What's her name? Anna. Anna Mac. This is how you, because I keep hearing you say that. This is how you get that money. Run it up. Run it up. Like you talking to young girls and then y'all, they seeing y'all and this is how y'all pulling them in, inviting them over to parties and get it. And then we, y'all might as well fly out to like Dubai with us. We going over here to yeah, yeah, yeah. And like y'all painting this, these like, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Yep. I hope every one of you bitches go to the penitentiary for the rest of your life. I hope that you never see your children again. That is my divine prayer for y'all. That you never. Um, that you never see your children again. I hope they come and get you. And I hope they take you to the penitentiary. And on top of that, I hope that you're in such a bind that you tell on everybody. Y'all are fucked up. Y'all are fucked up, bro. Very interesting. I had a dream about Kelly Rowland um, last, the, the night before last. Not last night, the night before. I think it was the night before, yeah. I had a dream about Kelly Rowland. And she kept saying that Beyonce had did her wrong. And she kept saying Miles, but she was calling her son Miles. I'm like, I don't think that's her son's name. But she kept saying that her her baby, Miles, she did her, her wrong when it came to that. And I, I couldn't understand what she was talking about, but she was so sweet and kind. All you motherfuckers are dirty. I, I despise all of y'all. It's so interesting. Anyway, I'm the fuck gone. I've had enough. I've heard enough. I had enough. Make sure you hit the like button and make sure you send a donation. And if you're watching and you didn't like it, and if you are part of this, that this, and you watching this, and you know I'm talking about you, go fuck yourself. Find seven cliffs to jump and fly, jump and fly the fuck off of it. And remember. Your soul is going to pay a toll for everyone that you corrupted. Your soul is going to pay a toll, and I can promise you that. Solitude, they why, motherfuckers.